Hey guys, so today I am here with a really exciting video. I am here with my birthday haul. I have done a birthday haul every year since I started YouTube and I believe the first birthday haul I actually ever did was when I turned 17. So that's pretty exciting. So this birthday haul I turned 19. I actually turned 19 this past Sunday on December the 8th and I kind of spent the whole weekend celebrating because to me this was my first birthday out of my parents house and I just really wanted to kind of celebrate and make it as fun as possible. So if you guys wanted to see what Brian and I did the entire weekend, we do have a weekly vlog channel, I'll link it down below and the latest vlog is Kirsten's birthday and you can see what we did. But on Friday we went to go see Catching Fire which was amazing, best movie ever, I'm so stoked about it. And then we went went um, we just went shopping a little bit and then on Saturday we actually went to Fashion Island which I'd never been there before so that was a lot of fun to shop there and we ate dinner at the Cheesecake Factory and then on Sunday on my actual birthday we really didn't do anything we just kind of lounged around the house and relaxed and it was just a really cool day and I just I'm really happy and I'm really thankful to make it to another year so if you guys want to see um, what I got for my birthday a lot of this stuff I actually purchased myself because my family you know once you start getting older your family really doesn't do gifts at least my family doesn't um, they send more like gift cards and money and I actually haven't gotten any of that stuff yet in the mail so this is kind of all stuff that I've spoiled myself with so I'm super excited about it to show you guys and oh and before I get started again I just want to thank every single one of you that tweeted me posted on my Instagram commented on the video saying happy birthday that literally meant the entire world to me and I really 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 from the bottom of my heart appreciate it it's just nice when you guys like it's just weird because you guys like remember and it's just, it's really sweet and I really appreciate it so I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you guys what I got for my 19th birthday first thing I got is actually a free gift from Sephora if you're a part of the Beauty Insider program every year on your birthday you get a little birthday gift this year the birthday gift was from Benefit and it's the real birthday turn-ons little set and I love these gifts and it kind of sucks because I have to wait all year to get my birthday gift but I'm happy I finally got it so it comes with a mini their real mascara which is probably one of my all-time favorite mascaras it just looks like this and then it comes with a mini size of the what's up highlighter um, stick and this is really really pretty it's like a champagne -y gold shade and I love highlighting my face so I was so excited to get this so I got this little gift for free from Sephora so I went to DSW the day before Saturday when we went to go see Catching Fire because I wanted to wear like a really cute outfit for like my birthday weekend and I wanted shoes that, that went with it so I was searching everywhere for some really cute ankle booties and I finally found them at DSW in the clearance section. They're from the brand Van Eli, Van Lee, V-A-N-E-L-I, and they're just these cute little like pleather ankle booties. They have a little bit of a heel, which was a little bit of a struggle for me to walk in at first because I'm totally not used to heels, but it's thick enough that it wasn't as like painful as like a super straight thin heel. Mm -hmm. um, and then it has this like elastic band, which is like if you have wider feet, it stretches. But these were really cute, really comfortable to walk in all day. I mean, I literally walked in these all day and I got them for like super cheap too. And I signed up for like the DSW like rewards card thing and I ended up getting five extra dollars off because my birthday was so close. So, got these for my birthday. And then when Brian and I were at Fashion Island, I went to two stores to shop. There was lots of stuff that I liked in lots of stores, but I only went to two stores to shop or I only bought things from two stores because I'm a little stingy when it comes to my own money. So the first place that I went to was a place that I've never bought anything from before and that is Urban Outfitters. That's what the bag looks like and I ended up getting three things. The first thing that I got, I've been wanting one of these for a really long time and I just saw it like in the checkout line so I just kind of grabbed it and it's just a black sock bun thing, nothing too crazy. I've just been wanting to do a sock bun for a really long time and I need one of these things so I ended up getting this and then I ended up getting two t-shirts because and they have a lot of really cute stuff but a lot of their stuff is kind of expensive. I just don't feel comfortable spending like $100 on a cardigan when I can spend like $20 on a cardigan if you know what I'm saying. So I ended up getting two t-shirts from their little like t-shirt area that's like in the men's side and they were super cute. So the first one I got is was in like the Christmas stuff and it's so cute and I cannot wait to wear this on Christmas. It's just a navy navy blue t-shirt and it has this cat on it. I love this. Like I, I literally love this. This is so cute. I am going to wear this like every day up until Christmas. It's so cute and I'm so stoked about this. So I got this in the little Christmas section and then when again like we were looking through the t-shirts I found this shirt and a lot of you know that I'm obsessed with pugs so I saw this 
had to get it. Again, navy blue. I don't know what it is with me and navy blue, but I got a navy blue t-shirt. It has a pug on it, and it says Notorious P.U.G. on it. I mean, these are comfortable. So cute. I can wear them with cardigans, anything, and it's going to be amazing. So I got those two, and I'm really, really happy about it, and I'm, I'm so happy with my purchases. And then the last place that I went for my birthday was Lush. I'm obsessed with Lush. Brian is obsessed with Lush. It's really painful because, like, I spend a lot of money there. We went back three times, you guys. Went back three times. I ended up getting stuff every single time. And, yeah, I absolutely love Lush, so forgive me. The first thing that I got, I actually just pulled out of the fridge, and it is a cupcake mask. I've been wanting to try this for a really long time, and I was looking at all their masks because I wanted something that would be better suited for me, and I didn't know if the cupcake mask would be better suited for me because it's for oily skin types, and I have very dry skin right now. But it said that it's perfect for um, any sort of breakouts or anything like that, and I have been breaking out pretty bad lately, so I've been on the lookout for a good mask that helps it. So the lady there said the cupcake mask would be perfect although I don't have oily skin so I got this small size it was like six dollars for this it says cupcake calms with cocoa powder and softens with balancing spearmint and sandalwood oil so I definitely felt like a more smoothness in my face and it just smells like chocolate and it looks like frosting like it literally felt like I was putting frosting on my face so I really love this stuff um, you're supposed to keep it in the fridge it has an expiration date but hopefully I use it up before then because this has been this was just like a lifesaver for me and now my whole room smells like chocolate because I can feel it Ooh. The next thing I got, Brian got sucked into this. The Lush ladies are really good at their job, I'm not going to lie. And Brian is just kind of a sucker for things. So the Lush lady put this stuff on his hands and he was kind of hooked. And it was probably the most expensive thing I've ever bought from Lush. It was like $30. But it is the Rub 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 Shower Scrub. This stuff is amazing. It's probably the best exfoliant I've ever used. Let me open it and show you guys. Ugh, it's like everywhere. It looks like this. It's so big. I have like Now it's like all over me. But anyway, what this stuff does is you kind of put it on dry areas of your skin. She showed us on our hands. And it's really rough. It's a really rough exfoliant. It hurts so bad. But the second you put it under water, it just, it melts. And it feels like... It feels like a cloud like your hands feel so soft and we were sold we did this on our feet last night because the heels of my feet are cracked and disgusting and they are like baby soft now so I love this stuff I, I definitely think I would repurchase this and I'm super stoked that I bought it I ended up getting two bath bombs as well the first one I got was sex bomb but I already used it and I know I should have waited to show you guys but I already used it because I've been wanting to take a bath for a really long time it smelled really good it just had a really calming scent so I got that one and the second one that I got was a holiday one. Oh, it's falling apart on me. And it's the Father Christmas one. It looks like this. It looks like Santa. It smells good. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't really have a scent to me, but it just looks like Santa and I wanted a Christmas something, so I grabbed this. I had also really been wanting to try one of their bath melts, so I ended up getting this one. I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called the like mm 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 one or something like that. Like literally M M M M M M M M M. I could be wrong. It just looks like this. Again, it's a bath melt. And she said we can cut this up and use it really sparingly, so that's what I plan on doing. And you just crumble it under your running water, and it creates bubbles, and like, it soothes the water. And I'm just really stoked about this, because I've just been wanting to try one. Also ended up getting just a plain old Lush tin to put our soaps in, because we got three soaps. <laughs> So yeah, we ended up getting three soaps. The main reason we wanted to go in is because Brian is obsessed with the Sexy Peel Soap, which I'll open it for you guys. The Sexy Peel Soap is basically just a super citrusy scent, and he, I used, I think we've, I've gotten it for him twice, and he just really loves it. It's just a really nice citrus scent. So we went in originally to get this, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is about a $12 chunk of it, which is pretty good. It's huge, and again, it just smells super, super citrusy. I don't, I actually really like citrusy scents. I don't like orange juice or anything like that, but I like the scent of it. So I'm going to use this probably more than he does. So I'm really excited about this. And I just like the way the soap chunks look, so I wanted to get two more. Uh, so the first one I got, I personally got the Honey I Wash the Kids chunk. This is a $10 chunk. It's pretty small, but this one is a more expensive one. And this one looks and smells just like honey. 
This is my Honey I Wash the Kids one. This one smells like honey and caramel and just amazingness. And this one just like is already melting in my hand. So I'm going to wrap it back up. But I really wanted to try this one. And then the last one I got is a $7 slice of the Karma Soap. Because I really liked this one as well. This is what the Karma one looks like. This one looks more like cheese. It's like a wedge. And this one has a really good smell. It's like really, really musky. I don't remember what the description was of this, but I just remember loving it. Like it smelled really, really good. Oh wait, she said it has amber and patchouli in it. And I love the way patchouli smells. So that's why I got it. I remember now. That's it for everything that I got for my birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I spoiled myself. I love spoiling myself. It's probably my favorite thing in the world to do. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.